Oh my gosh. That's insane. For breakfast, I had my typical avocado toast, but on a brown rice cake. So I just put half an avocado, some tomato slices, everything but the bagel seasoning, red pepper flakes, and garlic powder. And on the side, I had some baby carrots with roasted garlic hummus from Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, this looks so artsy. And I got hungry in between my classes, so I just had a sweet potato between my Zoom classes. For a snack, I'm having hippies in the vegan white cheddar flavor, my favorite. I've said this before, but this tastes like pirate's booty to me, but it's like made of chickpeas. These are so good. For lunch, I was feeling a little adventurous, and so I tried to make this like tofu stir fry kind of thing without looking at a recipe. I mean, it turned out fine, but wasn't really the flavor that I was expecting. Anyway, so after I made the sauce, I cooked some tofu and frozen veggies together. And once that was all cooked, I added in the sauce and mixed it together. And I add my tofu stir fry with a side of cauliflower rice and kimchi. And I topped the whole thing off with some sesame seeds. I'm literally just having a steamed corn. Nothing much to say about that, but it's very good. Why are you eating like that? How else would you eat a corn? Why are you holding it like that? How else would you hold it? I'm pretty sure I've showed this dish before, but for dinner, my mom made samgyetang, so I just had some of that. No, actually, I had a lot of that. I had three bowls of it because it was so good. And for dessert, I just had some watermelon. My sister's cutting it really weird, but yeah, it was really good. Okay, honestly, I'm not the best at poaching eggs, but I tried to poach an egg and then I sauteed some spinach and then I had a peach while I was making my breakfast sandwich. And then I topped my English muffin with avocado, sauteed spinach, tomato slices, and onions. And then I topped it with a poached egg and some mustard and everything but the bagel seasoning. <gasps> oh my, that's insane. You can't even see it because it's not in focus, but trust me, it looks good. It's like a healthy breakfast sandwich. Another day, another matcha, you know? I have my 10 minute break right now. Before I join another Zoom meeting, I'm gonna have some of these Trader Joe's plantain chips. This is like $1.20 or something. And you get like so much out of it. This looks and sounds disgusting. Trust me, I get it, but it is good. I got this recipe from your mom, Ashley, because I was doing like a eating like your mom, Ashley for a day video and I wanted it again for lunch. So I made it again, but with a little more veggies because I had leftover veggies as you saw. And for a snack, I had more watermelon. I'm not even kidding. I think I go through like a whole watermelon a week. I'm gonna have more of these like plantain chips. These are so addicting. I could literally eat the whole bag. And for dinner, my family got um, Thai food takeout and it was really good. Thai food is one of my favorite foods. Ugh, I'm sad. I want this right now. For breakfast, I had an avocado toast again, but I wanted to spice things up a little bit because I saw this on like BuzzFeed or something like that a while ago. So I put some pomegranate seeds on my avo toast with some everything but the bagel seasoning. And of course I had my drink of the day. Today's drink of the day was coffee with steamed almond milk and cinnamon on top. It was immaculate. I already ate one, but I'm eating two sweet potatoes for a snack.
and I also had some watermelon as well. For lunch, I'm having leftovers from yesterday. So I have my yellow curry with rice and then pad thai and then pad siu with some broccoli because, you know, health. Oh, <gasps> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was like in class thinking about Thai food. And I went to study with a friend and I got matcha latte. Honestly, overpriced. But anyways, we went to Panera afterwards and I got some salad, soup, and fruit. I didn't know that fruit cups were two bucks extra. I'm actually editing this video right now, but for dessert, I'm gonna have this Halo Top chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. To be honest, this is probably one of the worst Halo Top flavors I've ever tried, but I have to finish this up. I'm not gonna just throw it away, so. So for my scrambled eggs, I just chopped up some veggies that I had in my fridge and then mixed in two eggs with almond milk, salt, and pepper. So for a drink of the day today, I'm gonna try to make whipped matcha latte. I saw this on TikTok somewhere, and since I deleted TikTok, I can't like refer back to it, so I'm just gonna do it off of memory, but basically get aquafaba and then like whisk it. I mixed in about maybe like two teaspoons of matcha, and then I'm just gonna put some ice and then oat milk in here with the whipped matcha stuff. I don't know how it's gonna taste because like I love chickpeas but then chickpea juice in my matcha That's actually pretty good I literally have to eat this so quick so I literally put it on the side of my bed But I just have some kimchi and then I have some kimbap that my mom made So I'm just gonna have this for lunch and yeah. You guys might have seen this place in my vlog But lately I've been going to this cafe a lot to get my work done so I got this ice jasmine something tea and some plantain chips here's my pizza oh. i burnt the roof on my mouth for breakfast today, I'm gonna make banana muffins. I'm not gonna follow a recipe actually, I'm just gonna kind of like do my own thing. So if this turns out bad, we'll just eat an avocado toast. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is mash one banana, crack in one egg. I'm also gonna add a little splash of oat milk and like a big spoonful of Greek yogurt. A little splash of vanilla extract. Lots and lots of cinnamon because I love cinnamon and I would say this is about a third cup of oat flour Add in a little bit of baking soda a pinch of baking powder and then just mix it all together Then I'm gonna put a handful of regular oats actually I'll add a little bit more because my hands are ah, I think that should be good Oh, you guys can also add in chocolate chips or raisins in here if you want but yeah, I'm gonna pop them in the oven 330 degrees for about 15 minutes and then we'll check up on it and then maybe do it for another 10 minutes We gotta do the chopstick test Yeah, I'm gonna put it in for two more minutes also, while I'm waiting for my muffins to cool down, I'm gonna snack on some granola because I'm hungry. Mm. That's good. Here are my muffins. I'm gonna top it with this peanut butter. You have to have it with peanut butter, unless you're allergic because I don't want you to die, but like, if you're not allergic, the peanut butter adds so much flavor. I'm also gonna have 
this jasmine green tea or something. We got pho to go, so there's pho. And then we have some boba and also spring rolls. I love spring rolls so much. I always get the chicken salad with tomato salsa, black beans, extra fajitas, brown rice on the side, and corn on the side. I don't know why I get it on the side, but uh, I just do. I like to sprinkle it. They should do like a few like solid scoops of the Greek yogurt. And then my sister made this Korean style like hot dog. You know the cheese hot dogs that all the mukbangers eat? Yeah, but the thing is, the hot dog part was on top, not the cheese. So I couldn't give you a satisfying cheese bowl. Hi guys, happy Saturday. So I have to go to the rink right now. And so I needed something that I can like quickly eat in the car while driving. And so I just have my Dave's Killer Bread everything bagel with cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I have my coffee with steamed oat milk. Okay, I'm really hungry, but I'm too lazy to cook right now. So I'm gonna have some rice cake. These are so Good, like, and they're so filling too. So yeah. This is gonna be my lunch. Kind of a weird lunch, but... Hi, I suck, and I forgot to film it, but I had a peach earlier. It was really, really good, and now I'm eating a sweet potato. Also, someone DM'd me and asked me how I make my baked sweet potatoes. Okay, let me put y'all on. I bake it, like, anywhere from 400 to 420 degrees for an hour and the sides will like burn a little bit but it's so good when it's like a little burnt like this I don't know if you could see but my friends and I got sushi I got a rock and roll and it's like a cucumber thing and then this is Karina's and then this is Michelle's oh my God, Ash is scallop roll my... and then uh, Carly just said <laughs> chicken teriyaki is that teriyaki? and then oh, what yeah. did you get? a California roll and a shrimp tempura Bomb. For some reason, I totally forgot to film the rest of my food that day, but I had three slices of Papa John's pizza. Bomb. I had these like chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's. These like pecan things from Trader Joe's. Those were also really good. And popcorners in the white cheddar flavor. I'm pretty sure I ate like half of the huge family size bag. <laughs> For breakfast, I made oatmeal, so... First, I soaked in half a cup of oats with half a cup of hot water for five minutes, and then I cooked the oats with a little bit of almond milk and chia seeds and grated zucchini. And I know the grated zucchini sounds weird, but it's like spinach and smoothie. It's good for you, but you can't taste it. And then I mashed up half a banana and added it to the mixture. The banana is kind of like a sweetener because it's really sweet. And for protein, I used vanilla pea protein powder and added some almond milk, cinnamon, and then mixed it together once again. Also, you guys were literally flaming me in one of my last What I Eat videos because I was making oatmeal with a fork, so I made sure not to use a fork this time. Anyway, I was almost out of this almond butter, so I filled up my oats in this almond butter jar with some strawberries, blueberries, and bananas. My favorite thing is like the almond butter that gets stuck on the side. It's kind of like chunky, you know? So then you mix it in and it's so good. My mom made me coffee with steamed almond milk and cinnamon. It's very hot right now, so I can't drink it right now, but... Ooh, I don't know why I did that knowing that it was hot, but yeah, thank you, mom. Humans, the reality that For lunch, I am making pibimbap. Basically, you can put in any type of veggies you want, but my mom just buys these like Korean vegetables from the Korean market. And so I just put in a little bit of everything. Oh, back. 
So I have a bowl of rice right here. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of everything. I like to put in a lot of veggies. I also made some zucchini, so I'm just going to put some of that in there. I'm just going to add in some gochujang in there, which is this hot pepper paste. And then a little bit of sesame oil as well. And then just mix everything together. I'm just going to top it with a sunny side up. Actually, I love eggs, so I'm gonna put two in here. I'm gonna top it all off with some sesame seeds. Also, I'm too lazy to get a separate bowl for kimchi, so I'm just gonna put it in here, as always. Ooh, oh my gosh. And then mix it all together. Get a little bite with kimchi. For a snack, I'm having another muffin with, you guessed it, peanut butter. Oh no. Oh, frack. I'm so excited. You see that peanut butter? 11 out of 10. Amazing. For dinner, my mom made pork belly and twinjang, twin, wait, twin, twinjang jjigae. <laughs> and so I invited Lauren over because she it's probably one of my only friends that is willing to eat Korean food. Anyway, and I was just trying to show you guys how I was eating my samgyeopsal and I dropped it. So that was that, but it was really good. What did you get? You got an oolong black milk tea. And I got a jasmine green milk tea. Ooh. Wait, no, jasmine milk tea. Right? Yeah. yeah. My sister made these quacks. No. Quacks. Oh, but so quack. it's like soft on the inside. Hard to mm. on the outside. It's I should be in a food commercial. Did you know see, that hand models break? are a thing? Oh, yeah. what the frick? Right? See, it's hard to like pull apart. Convince her to get her own YouTube channel. She could do K-pop dance covers. Okay, you know what? Oh my god, you only... Mm. I hope you choke on it. Wait, this is not okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That was it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you watched till the end, I love and appreciate you so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.